officially uh, started in 1898. Okay, so wow. late. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it brief. I'm not gonna there keep it. Go. I'm not okay. gonna keep it to the five-hour oh. tour. Um, essentially, this was the retirement island of Thomas Carnegie, brother to Andrew Carnegie. He wanted to retire from the business early. They built that beautiful dungeoness. And within a year after completion, Thomas has died. So he really did not even enjoy that beautiful Dungeness mansion. 37,000 square feet, cost of $285,000. Okay, mother down on the south end was left with nine children and pretty much all the money in the world that she would ever need. Yeah. Uh, she owned 90% of the island. Children grew up and she would give them a cottage so this is how this house came to be. It's a cottage. This um, is a cottage. cottage. This is a cottage. <coughs> it started out for $10,000 from mother. That drain spout to this drain spout. A full basement, first floor, second floor, and attic. That's what you would get in 1898. <coughs> uh, the young bride, bride of George, one of the children of Lucy. This was not adequate. She intended to have so much more for her winter cottage. So she contacted her mother, and over the next few years, her mother threw in $55,000. Now we have 24,000 square feet of winter cottage for entertaining, okay? This house cost $65,000. Dungeness was 285,000. So imagine the grandeur of Dungeness in comparison. Uh, wealth doesn't always buy happiness. We believe they were happy, but health, uh, George has died by 1920. The cottage then goes to his younger sister, Nancy, and that family occupies it as a winter cottage from 1925 until the descendants give it to the National Park Service uh, this becomes National Park Seashore, 1973, 12 acres, $50,000. Trying to get the whole rest of the family on board. Um, the alternative, 4,000 homes by a developer on Cumberland Island or National Park. So it was hopefully the lesser of two evils. Okay, Absolutely. that's the synopsis. Okay. Well done, go, go. Um, Ferguson still live here and one of the... She does. Yes, yeah, she's a descendant. Um, her real name is Janet. Few people know that. Um, yeah, they know as Go Go, right? That's what that's what ninety nine percent of the people know her as. And she still lives here. Uh, they did have a home in Mexico. Um, she has been here already once this year. She pops in. Oh, okay. Um, you know, we're she doesn't tell us volunteers <laughs> what, oh, what her activity well, well pretty much that's oh. their plane down at Stafford. Oh, okay. So when the plane is gone, she's probably off island. Okay. Yeah. Well, the video I saw, she was living here, so it was much of an old YouTube video. Okay, not in this house. No, not in this house. Yes, they are at Greyfield. Yeah, she's a descendant of Greyfield. Okay, you know, um, I'm going to take a peek. Maybe they've moved on. That I won't have to do you the reverse. Um, George and Margaret built a swimming pool, and it's pretty much for children. They had no children, which is interesting, but they built a swimming pool for visiting children. Okay, there we go. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Oh. So the pool is nine feet four inches deep. It appears to be a lot more deep than that, but it's an optical illusion. The steps are for children. They would raise and lower the depth of the pool. And why they raise why they had a pool for children, uh, if they were to take the visiting children to the beach, they would have to have an uncle come along with a twenty-two rifle for sharks. So it was just much easier to build an indoor swimming pool. Heated shower rooms, heated uh, dressing rooms. Um, just the business of having fun in the water.
Watch your head. Watch your heads. and money was no object. Uh, the water smelled badly, so they had to be really careful about heating it. There would be a man standing here in the, with the coal bin and trying to heat this wall so that the pool would be at wow. a comfortable okay. temperature. Of course, when they got to a certain temperature, the sulfur chemically changed, and then they had to drain the water and start all over again. Oh my. What year was this now? Uh, the house, 1898. These were slaves that did this? No. They no, were free, the, free slaves. Free. After. After that, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, in fact, off the script, everything from Cumberland Island in the way of construction, uh, the houses, the outbuildings, uh, none of it came from the South. We're talking 15 years after the Civil War. Oh, uh -huh. You had a millionaire industrialist from the north that came and bought 4,000 acres initially from a southern person uh, because of desperation, the person sold the acreage. So in my mind, off the script, I cannot see that the attitude of workers would be during reconstruction of the south, that they would be receptive to building mansions for a northern industrialist. Okay, but that's off the script. This person shoveling coal may have been a descendant of the slave, uh, living up on the north end, walked eight miles down here every day, shoveled coal 50 cents a day, and had a really good job. Oh. If I was a servant in the house wearing white gloves, I would earn a dollar a day. Uh, the Carnegie children got an allowance of $10,000 from their mother. Uncle Andrew gave them an annual allowance of $10,000. They had no major expenses and they never worked. Today's money, that would be about $530,000 allowance every year without any major expenses other than what gave you pleasure. Okay, um, man shoveling coal. It would take him 30 years to earn $10,000. Wow. A couple of islands didn't get what we call electricity in the modern sense until the 
which became shortly before this became a national park. That developer, Charles Fraser, who developed Hilton Head, wanted to develop Cumberland Island. He had the floor plan for 4,000 homes on Cumberland Island. He talked the local utility into dropping a line. Um, and probably we would not have electricity today if it wouldn't have been for that over anxious developer. But yeah, we didn't they really know they wanted to stay in South Carolina. They really know they developed them all. An yep. generator? Yep. I so, think so. You know, we really, um, it's not only Carnegie descendants on the island. There are 15 retained right properties yet. Uh, after three, four, five generations, other people were able to obtain properties on Cumberland Island. Uh, failure of electricity before we had modern electricity, they had backup generators. Here we can see how the electricity, they had DC current, how it did improve over the years. Yeah, this is old DC. This, is DC. Uh, this would be DC. Yeah, yep. Wow. Yep. That's DC. They wired the house in 1913 and put in their own power plant. House. Yeah, this is a DC. This is stuff that you have in your basement, more than likely. Wow. Or relative to, akin to that same sort of stuff. You never know when you're going to need a piece of wire or a copper gutter. <laughs> uh, this is the original boiler. Shipped before oh, 1898. No, the original the boiler. to Lucy Carnegie, Bernadina, Florida. If you were able to read it on the side. Oh, yeah, you can see what's left. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. great ventilation. Um, this will go out to the front. You'll see the grills to the front. Seven staircases, skylights, so great ventilation, but no one would be here in the summertime. It would be unbearable. We're under the kitchen. Uh, this is the most modern feature of the house. The last thing purchased for a thousand dollars. It's a modern ice machine. Byproduct would be cold air, so they trap the cold air, and then they were able to buy a hotel refrigerator back there with the cold air. We're under the kitchen, so there would be another refrigerator oh. upstairs. Yeah, what is this, this called? Is like this is a ice, ice maker. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. Wow. I mean, the technology in this house right? is absolutely yeah, amazing. Did you see the ice maker? Yeah, I didn't know they had this. Mm -hmm. Did I go see that? Look, they had this hot water heater. It's an ice box. Nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. Oh, it's a refrigerator. This is a nice maker. What is this over here? This is a refrigerator. I can get out of your way if you want. Okay, I'm just getting a picture of this stuff. Yeah. Another one down under the gun room, another boiler, another coal. Is that an bed. elevator? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so it was so unstable they had to have a full time electrician. They had oh, their wow. own generating plant. Um, if you walk, well, you have walked to the bathroom, you might have seen some yellow buildings. Those are the outbuildings for uh, the engineer and the power plant. And I'm trying to figure out where they're going. Otis <laughs> Elevator. Um, run by water pressure. They had a water. Someone would have to crawl back here and change the levers. Okay, we're gonna. I'm just going to point out one more thing. Um, we're under kind of the service area, main room, library, gallery, and it's going to go into a gun room. Mm. Now servants could not go running through the house. So what servants would have to do would be come down the basement, run down this channel, and way down on the other end of the house, there's a door that would pop up by the gun room. So depending on where the bell rang, uh, the servants were never seen. They would just magically appear. Hmm. Okay. I, mean, I heard it was over 200 servants on this For island. For the whole island. Blacksmith, tennis pro, golf caddy. Um, Nancy, the young lady, she actually married a commoner, her first marriage. Um, so she left the island for a while. It was pretty much 
uh, social taboo at the time, and then she became a very young widow, came back and married a very successful doctor. Um, a lot of social pressure, uh, who you married. Mm. Mm. I think we're going to go up to the first floor. Gagan. <laughs>
furnishing, all hand stamped oh, wow. the Lotus. Tiffany lamp here from Dungeness, so that would be 1800. Another Tiffany lamp here with one of four shades of the seasons. Like you, we'll go home and change our lamp the shade for the spring now, right? About that. You'll, you'll be sure to do that. I'll be <laughs> sure to do that now because I've never done it before. <laughs> okay, four times a year now. Okay, okay. The pressure of being rich. Okay, right, I'm gonna be a rich person. And so this is the, this is the winter shade. Um, <laughs> people of wealth traveled the world, uh, brought back trophies. Wow. We call this the gallery, and as much as I talk about their wealth, they're just like you and I. We love Cumberland Island. And these would be the treasures that they would show off. Perhaps in the evening, that room might have been filled with china plates, maybe card tables set up here. The ladies would have played whist or a proper card game. And then men would be back here in the gun room. This is the door where I said servants would pop up from the basement. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's my yep. And yeah. Like, just like us, they can't remember their, their past going to the safe. <laughs> so they have a safe compartment and on that piece of paper for a certain hey. safe combination. He sold a bottle. And he with a family member, there was retribution, I don't know if it was a fine or if it was jail time, but that person made a threat to the Carnegie family. Uh, the night that the house caught on fire, someone had shot the yacht full of uh, shotgun holes and it sank. Um, the fire was in the elevator shaft and there was no electricity and there was no lightning. And it went up like a torch. There was absolutely no way to save it. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of history here. I'm glad. Oh, yeah, you could have been from the tribe all the time. Michelle just ran over, over Walker there. <laughs> trying not to step on the floor. You have to stay on the carpet because they're trying to protect the floor. Yeah, yeah, we're going to go left, left, okay. left. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. That was really excellent. Okay, well, maybe it. enough of a break oh. for you that Brick Hill will seem attainable now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to eat something and then head out that left, way. Left, yeah. right, left, right. <laughs> Keep doing it. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. You know where we'd be interested?
interesting. I'd love to spend the night in this place. Oh, that would be amazing. Wouldn't it be? Yeah. I didn't feel anything. <laughs> the hair will stand up on my arm when I'm around. Running down that hole, I'm pouring out that toe in there.